Hello everybody, I am Bones. Today we are doing Layers of Fear. Give me a second here. Okay, we're just turning that down a little. Because uh, during my early Let's Plays, people told me they couldn't hear me very well. So we're going to uh, make sure you can. Uh, I got this on uh, Humble Bundle. They were giving it away for a while. I don't really know much about it. Um, a lot of these games, these discovery games, are called uh, people who like action games, kind of walking simulators. I don't really think that's fair because I think that a lot of these can have a very interesting story. Um, and games like this, they let you experience something, I for example, from another feel. point of view. So. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. Now, I'm not reading this right now because I'm hoping you you're reading this around with me. But, <laughs> that's, that's but nice. even for you, there is still a way. Um, I a way to bring it didn't read back. the description page on purpose because I wanted as much surprise as I could. Yesterday we set this up the sound bubbles. Uh, a lot of this other stuff. Finish it. Finish it. Mortal Kombat has forever ruined that for me. This says, every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. If you have not read that book, by the way, uh, I do highly recommend it to everybody. It is uh, a very interesting commentary, really, on the mortality of, uh, the mortality of the mortality of mankind and the futility to try and uh, fight I don't know, in a, I guess the natural or okay, this is physics based. Alright. The natural order of things. I was starting to click on those and wondering why nothing was happening here, but um Okay, so clues. We got clues now. What does spacebar do here? Okay, so spacebar just changes this. Some call him the new Caravaggio, others compare him to Van Eyck, and one awestruck critic wished to remain, remain unnamed when as far as to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. Anyway, slice of the exhibition proved an immense success. Uh, redacted, we'll call that redacted since uh, government documents they scribble out something. Distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of rena Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event uh, in the company of his beautiful fiance, looking stunning in her black gown. Again, redacted. We don't know what that meant. Rio to us exclusively that the couple are indeed. It looks like expecting, so I'm guessing that she is pregnant. Um, but I do not know. This one, I'm not even going to try to read the other Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialist as well as the brain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman. <laughs> and does not take kindly to such accusations. Uh, all of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such decided not to act further than a prophylactic spray. Prophylactic in this sentence being used, uh, again, a protective spraying, preemptive spraying, perhaps. Uh, please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carol Denton, Pesky Pests Pacification Company. Uh, that is quite the mouthful for a company name. You'd think they would have went with something simpler. That looks like a gorgeous hand card cigar box. Actually, judging by the era, that's probably a snuff box. Uh, snuff was a thing that was used a lot. I'm sensing an animal existed here, maybe a dog. That or somebody was under some BDSM, one or the other. Um, because of the muzzle on that there, but uh, no, uh, snuff, nasal snuff especially, was a well sought after thing. Uh, there is still, if I remember right, in the White House, a tradition where the president picks a nasal snuff and there is a box on the president's desk that is filled with nasal snuff, and it was used a lot in old, like, 
you can see it in Civil War pictures, stuff like that, where you would see like this little black dust here, and they would basically take a pinch and put it there and just lightly sniff, almost like you're smelling a flower. And it was a ground up, perfumed, powdered tobacco um, that was considered a luxury. Um, it would make things around you smell good, and in times back then when not everybody showered enough, uh, when you had a lot of bloodshed on the battlefield, it was considered quite, quite a treat. Um, Achilles, prosthetics, clever name. One below knee, prosthesis. How the hell did they fuck up the length? I don't know, I didn't make it. One thing I'm not sure on, and I, I probably would have known if I would have checked, but I decided not to check. Because uh, I like to go into a game like this, blind. I think it's a little more fun. The sense of discovery is more. Rat poison. Apparently, I this, this artist was a huge... Uh, there must be a big rat problem somewhere. Like, that might be a clue. I can zoom in. 40427. We're going to try to remember that number. Um, now, I'm going to say this. Um, I don't always neglect details like looking at the description page for a game we play here. That is a gorgeous handmade perfume bottle. Uh, our artist here must have had some money. Um, I don't know if you are the artist. Am I the artist coming back into this home? Or am I maybe a art collector? Am I somebody like, am I a, a relative? Holy Jesus Christ. Ooh, that made me jump a little. Um, am I somebody who is just a casual Realtor? Have I inherited this house? I don't know. So I didn't touch the workshop, uh, just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. The butler does not sign his name. I don't know if that's out of disdain or whatever. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I'm trying to eliminate my uh, distractions. So we're going to go straight upstairs here. Um, this is a gorgeous house though, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I cannot reach sheet music at all, so I have no idea what piece it would be, but uh, beautiful, beautiful house. Um, I've always had a certain love for old houses. Been working all night, don't wake me up. Been weird. Weird, uh, letter there. Is this my office? No, this is a bedroom. I think everybody likes gramophones at least a little. There's just something aesthetically pleasing about the design of a gramophone. Ah, uh, there was a fire here. Got a grand opening. Perhaps some metaphor for things? Perhaps things did not go well with this person? Um, so I don't really know the aim of this game per se. Are we just reliving moments? So I can see the legs that have uh, been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. Love you. So there are a lot of notes left around. That is a gorgeous cane. Uh, although I believe that their tisk tisk would be ivory husk. And it looks like cherry wood maybe? The time period, if this is... Um, and that's something else I don't know. Is this modern day, if we're like looking at this? Or are we um, in this time, wherever this time is? Are we in this time period? Um, lots of questions. But I enjoy the questions. I think they, they make for better discovery. Um, so I personally... When it comes down to these games, I like to discover stuff on my own. I'm a little distracted where the key is a note. I'm sorry I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised! Um, see this artwork? That's a... Um, that was actually going to be one of Gary's next stories, guys. Uh, is Little Red Riding Hood. 
It's a little more sinister, but not too Oh, that's... Yeah, that's fucked up, isn't it? What the hell, Satan? That's, uh, that's downright creepy. Isn't it? Dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I agreed uh, to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake, I even deliberately gave you a trivial task. Because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There's no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone. Whispered Tale Publishing House. Uh, well, I kind of agree with Liam a little. That's, uh, that's some fucked up stuff for a kid's book. Oh, for a minute there, I thought y'all were going to hear our, uh, Dot Echo. We got one for, uh, Christmas. Um, shout out to my mother who decided that, uh, we all needed one. Even got one for herself. Uh, although she has not hooked hers up yet. Uh, we've had a bit of fun with ours. Um, they do a little Christmas rap. Um, if you ask them to rap, if you ask them to sing, they sing. Um, but the Christmas rap was... Jeez, story behind the Dorian Gray. Was it true all along? Again, Dorian Gray coming into this. It's something about the immortality of paintings. All right, right, right. What am I doing? Don't get distracted. We gotta get to the, uh, we gotta get to the, like, the painting room here is important. We got the key now, so we can get in there. So let's see the workshop. This is definitely a mess. Uh, our butler was not lying. Sweet lord, that is just... Inspired OCD. Um, normally, the way this works here for our Let's Plays is I do not always get to play these first. We have uh, more than one of us on our team, so sometimes they like to take a crack at them or just, you know, look at them, see what they're like. If they think it's something that we'd really enjoy doing Let's Play of, they let me know, and then we go from there. That is an old-fashioned seal, so I'm going to guess them in this time period. Um... And that this is not modern day. That looks like a... I don't think that's American. I think that's French. But that is definitely like a war medal. And he has a gorgeous pipe down there. Hand carved briarwood, if I recollect. Um, most pipes are briarwood, unless otherwise noted. Um, but your basic pipe is briarwood. You lost, you deserve it. Finish it. Okay. There really is not much here. It looks like the start of a sky and a grass. Um, but this guy clearly does not. I mean, look at how he just throws his friggin' just breaks and throws his shit in there. This is not a very neat artist, is he? Clearly an alcoholic, because uh, I do know a bit about wine. I don't know a great deal, but I know enough to know. Uh, like I said in another video, I'm uh, mostly Italian. We grew up drinking wine with our meals. And those are all imported bottles from... Uh, I'd say all over the place. I even see some absinthe bottle in there, but uh, the square bottle there. Uh, where are you? One of these in particular stuck out as an absinthe bottle. Uh, anyway, let's see, we have other things to do, and I'm telling you all about wines. Did the hobby change? I, uh,. Don't recall the hallway looking like this? Am I wrong? No, no, I'm right, because there was not a hallway here. There was a, uh... What's going on? The house is changing on me? Is that a feature of the game? Is the house fucks with you? It's changing on me? 
I mean, the house, you, you guys saw that. The house changed on me. Um, now this here looks like something out of Stephen King's The Stand. That painting. So if you are a King fan or you agree, drop your thoughts on that in the comments below. Um, that's a pretty ring. Just, oh, you mother. That made me jump a little, I'm not gonna lie. I think that said just out of reach, but I couldn't read it quite in time. And Whew. But, uh, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of spooked me just slightly there, because I was not expecting that at all. Um, and I know that you're not getting, like, a lot of, Ooh, we just, you know, the overreacting some Let's Players do, but, uh, we told you guys before, we do not do overreacting on our channel. We, uh, I feel it's an insult to the, the intelligence of our viewers. It's a very pretty plant. Anybody know what kind of plant this is? Can you tell me this, this one here? This looks like there are two together? Maybe not. Because those are the blossoms. But judging by that leaf pattern, that leaf pattern, and this, I would say they planted more than one plant together in this planter. Um, what is this here, though? If you know, definitely uh, comment in the comments. I would like to know, because it's a gorgeous looking plant there. Um, I suck with keeping plants alive. We actually have a little Zen garden just over there that uh, that uh, my fiance's uh, sister gave us. Going in circles on the couch, and it looks bloody there. That's probably not good. Can I crouch? No, I can't crouch, I don't think. If I can, I don't know how. What is this here? What have I done? Okay, so there's a piece of paper there. Mr. and Madame, you must kindly, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable or private matter, should remain that way. There is certainly of no concern to us, and especially our children. Please consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. That's a little slap in the face, eh? We need our sleep. We must also warn you. The way they are now, we will report to call the police. Sincerely, you're very tired neighbors. So I like that they add that at the end. This is quite a huge house, so maybe your guy, uh, maybe your girl, I don't know who you are in this, was a starving artist who shared this place with other people. It would make sense because uh, either you're a brilliant artist with a lot of money who does well and is very successful, or you are a poor artist who rented out this house with other people, which was not unusual back in the day. A lot of paints here. Again, another pipe. They seem to be a tobacco smoker, although I haven't seen tobacco. I've seen two pipes. and uh, It's actually quite a decent pipe there. Save the date of. Celebrate their wedding on Saturday the 9th of June at St. Luke's Chapel at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Okay. Alright, can I light? Okay, candles I can light now. Is it? Whoa, what the? F what the hell was that? Right, let's get past the spookiness. And there's a 5, a 4, and an 8. Let's remember these numbers 5, 4, 8. 5, 4, 8. 5, 4, 8. 5, 4, 8. Is there a puzzle? Is there anything I can interact with? What about you? Ah! This one's a little obvious, but, uh... You know, uh... This game has a certain tension to it. Not really a jump scary tension, but definitely a tension that is a gorgeous ramp. My name on it is killing me. So... Will I want to say we're the artist, because he I feel like he's reliving memories as he's going through this stuff, which... Uh, why, I don't know. I don't know what the purpose of that is. But uh, that is a non-imitation ring, from the look of it. I know a little bit about jewelry, and uh, the cut of a fake sapphire is much brighter, created gems. They always shine more than they should. Um, 
that's a pretty sad part of that. And the filigree around that, it's very nice. It looks like that's silk. Or silk. Uh, it's, it's a silk ring. It looks like it is silver. Um, not quite platinum, but still. Very good for a starving artist salary. I keep saying starving artist for some reason. I don't know why. I just feel like this guy's got mental issues by the fucking... I've been snipping around my workshop again for the last time. You are not allowed in that room, even if the door happens to be open. I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time you have to look for a new job. So that's probably to the butler. Um, who apparently is nosy. But I also wonder why it's such a big deal for him to be... One, why is he snooping around an artist's workshop? And that chair's rocking on its own, and that's fucking creepy. Not loving that. Um, I do okay with jump scare games, but I think what gets me about this one is, at least so far, I haven't seen cheap jump scares. Oh, I can spin this. You spin me right round, baby. Can't help it. That was an easy one. Easy joke. I'll take it. It's a deer head. I'm watching this because I've seen Evil Dead 2, so I know what happens. Uh, some dominoes. Old school dominoes. We don't see many dominoes now that are just the. Uh, I feel like every. That is fucking creepy. What? Whoa, whoa. What just happened there? I looked at that painting and now everything looks all crazy and. Here, this house keeps changing on me. Oh, there's no way now I can read all this. And this is a letter from a mother to their unborn child, which is... I've always found those slightly creepy. I know those are supposed to be sweet, but... I, I don't know. I mean, I'm a sentimental as a nice person, but I've always found them slightly creepy. What the fuck is this? That was, that was, uh, dark. Ooh. No, I don't like that. This reminds me a little bit of a uh, scene in an old movie called Paper House, where this girl was drawing, right? And there's a scene where she uh, draws this... Her, she's afraid of her dad and his, like, vision she has. She scribbles his eyes out. I don't know why, but then, it, like, he comes to life and grabs her, and he has this horrible demonic voice and all that. This is, like, one of those games that reminds me of where it just continually messes with your head. Um, I think I'm going backwards here. Should I... I will say one thing that I think is interesting about this game is that the whole dance. See again! The how this hallway is not the hallway that was there. And these paintings are all sorts of weird now. And look at that, they're not where they were. So we're gonna try to get down here. Oh Jesus Christ, you son of a bitch. Not cool. Paint deep lies. Are they saying no. and painting deep lies? No, yes. any bit to the just left? Like yes, that. just like that. Hold that pose. Hold that pose for a moment. I want to get all those lovely those curves, lovely just, curves right. just right. Just right. Well, this guy's got a little Al Green in him. He's uh <laughs> trying to be smooth. Is that blood where that was? I'm sure it is. Fucking creepy ass Satan house. Why am I here? Why am I here? Why would I agree to do this? What is Am I nuts? So I, I think it's safe to say we are the artists, yes? I think, guys, you know what I'm seeing here? Let me tell you right now, my OCD, see all these books laying around? This shit would drive me crazy. I would have to straighten all these up before I could leave this room. In real life, I, uh, I am a massive book reader, and I, I could not let books be just strewn around like that. That would drive me crazy. Uh... See, there are mice in here, so pest control people lied. 
so there were no mice. But clearly, we just saw what is going on now. It looks like some black mirror with a hand starting to come through it. It's like, Jesus! Fudge sickle, that was not good. Uh, oof. I can lie, this game is good at getting me a little. And that is just demented. Uh, I don't quite recall what was on this painting before, but clearly this looks like people hanging with blood coming from their eyes. Um, if I'm the only one who's made that connection, then that's probably not good. That might be like a litmus test for crazy, so... Probably doesn't speak uh, wonderful things about me. But, uh, yeah, that shit was creepy, so can I get the hell out of here? Can we... Where do I go? Oh. So I'm guessing the point of this game is to sort of re piece together things about this artist. Either what made him go crazy, if he has gone crazy, which is my bet, or I'm trying to not see, this is a peaceful room. That's good. You got those pretty plants, which I've asked you all uh, if any of you know what they are. Put it in the comments, please, because um, they're very cool looking. So I'm curious about what they are. So far, this one isn't too bad, this room, eh? Look, see, this is how books are, although I really don't like those sideways ones. I could have just stacked them better, but anyway. OCD kicking in, guys. Uh, so, yes. Uh, whoa. One of our, uh, one of our fans actually was excited to see me play this, so I hope they are... A person crying, or was it? That's a person crying. Four one oh one. That's never good when talk, somebody's don't crying. You think? That's. I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. That is quite an expensive little hairbrush. There. Looks like that is pearl with uh, gold inlay. So, Victorian time, definitely. Um, when people were a little more flippant with their money about things, and on top of which... I mean, that's a lot of money for just a simple hairbrush, so... Also, it's pretty clear to me this guy probably had a drinking problem, considering all the crazy shit that was in his, uh... in his office. And again, the wine cellar. Uh, lots of broken wine bottles. Uh, people don't know it, but even wine bottles can be worth money. Depending on what the wine is, um, some vineyards will buy them back, the wine bottles themselves. This is a pretty kitchen right here. Um, I like this whole rustic look to kitchens. I mean, that might just be the Italian in me, but like, see this here. I love this. Um, and these old wood burning stoves, I really dig. There's something about the longevity, I think, in them that I really like. There's a lot of fruit, vegetables, a little small pestle motor that actually looks, I think, that was some form of old juicer, maybe? I'm so worried I'm gonna open, like, one of these oven doors up and some creepy shit's gonna be in here. As long as nothing crawls out or jumps at me, I'm alright. It's not that I'm bad with jump scares again, like I said, guys. I played all the Five Nights at Freddy, like most of you. Um, we didn't have a Let's Play channel then, so I didn't... That's weird. So I didn't uh, do a video about it. Plus, I mean, come on, everybody was overreacting to them. Uh, we just, we don't want to do that. If I jump, I'm genuinely jumping. If I'm... You will probably not see me overreact and see a whole bunch of stupid crap and act like a nine-year-old. And... We don't... We, we did not want to do that on this channel. That's kind of what prompted me to make a Let's Play channel originally. Was to do more honest gameplay. What? 
That was a knife right there that you saw just about stab me in the head. And that painting now has turned satanic on me. That is lovely. Thank God it's just fruit and not a demon crawling out of it. But uh, that's uh, still creepy. Still creepy. Was that note there before? I don't know. That was weird. Not loving that part. Not loving it. There's a little scale that does nothing, apparently. I feel like there's a clue here somewhere, because why else would that painting have went that shit? First, I looked for a canvas. Not just oh, that's any skin. canvas. I had to find a knife. That's human skin. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped Watch keep my hands cow. steady. So is this artist actually a killer of some sort? Has he killed people? Is that where we're at with him now? He's a, like a serial killer? A lot of questions. Also, can I go any other way, or am I stuck? Just going this way. I feel like, due to the way the lighting and all that is, they have certain ways they lead you in this game. Okay, so now we are back to the studio, and I can touch the skin to the painting. And, uh, we have... We have something. We have, uh, flamingos from hell. What? Kind of... That's creepy. Oh, the page! The page with the words on it. It now says, hate, even now, lost, you deserve it, finish it. So they added the word hate, I believe, in even now. And there are locks on these. Okay, so there's the weird piece of skin, and then the quote so I feel like, okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So five more clues to go. And then I think this painting finishes itself. And what is this here? Alongside being a very pretty book. Okay, so clues I have found go in here, like a scrapbook. Um, so maybe that's important as well. Maybe finish it uh, means both things. Maybe it means one thing. I don't, I honestly don't know. And there's another note. Deep breaths. Remember, you are a professional. It's just the first few strokes. Then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? And that looks like blood on that letter. Yeah, he's definitely a killer. Or crazy. One or the other. Um, so at this point, I'm pretty convinced that you are the artist in this story. If you do know, don't tell me in the comments. Um, I don't want this spoiled. Um, there is a set of dumb waiter elevator. We're very carefully going to sneak in here. Close this door. I guess this is going to take us somewhere. It only goes one way, so... Okay, so we're going somewhere. Where are we going now? I swear to God, if something drops down on me, I'll snap the shit out of this game. Should I have stopped that, or is it just, do I just ride this out? I guess I ride this out. Uh, some people call these games these discovery games. They tell stories. A not so affectionate name for them has been, and I kid you not, walking simulators. Um, I don't really think that's fair though. I think that uh, these self discovery games are a nice way of sort of almost like being an interactive novel, you know, like a choose your own adventure book in a way. Um, I can't like these. Alright. How can all of these be locked? I have to be able to go somewhere. 
Don't tell me I missed a key somewhere, because that's going to suck. Maybe there's a key in there. There's not. Wait a minute. Okay, so this one's already open. Good. Tiny little room, isn't it? There is a key of some sort. And a note. Oh, I am not reading all that shit. Um, skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. So now he's sent somebody a letter about skin grafting tissue damage to his wife. So we also know there was a fire in uh, the art gallery, so maybe something happened to his wife there, I don't know. We know that at some point his wife was with child. Why did you stop? That dude was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. It doesn't sound like a creepy guy or anything, or, you know, not. Um, so that must be his wife he was painting there, but the painting looks so creepy and grown over with weeds. Maybe that's a metaphor for rune, or rune relationship, I don't know. I feel like this is the kind of game you could take a lot of metaphors from. Um, okay, I unlocked whatever area this was here. I'm a definite door person. I like to look in every area I can. So, first we're gonna go up here. Oh shit, there's a fire below us. So this seems to be sort of a memory of the fire. Am I just going through memories? Is that what this game is? Is I'm going through this guy's head, so to speak? That was creepy. That sounded like a demonic baby. Again. Uh, dude, don't have some creepy ass kid in this. Well, it's not that they are my weakness, but creepy ass kids are creepy. A uh, thing of schizophrenia. So that is interesting. So could this person, the artist, the... Uh, I feel like there's going to be some big twist in this too. Like maybe we're not who we think we are. But I don't know who I am. Because uh, I didn't bother to read the, uh, the Steam page for this. So I wanted to... It says make up your mind. I feel like that's the room we were in earlier. Only now it's all sorts of messed up. It's a lot of book cases I can open that do nothing. Is that they always do nothing, or is that just for now? Is there a reason why I'm in the parlor again? I don't know. There's a lot of questions about this game, because there's a lot I don't... Um, again, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I, I get that I'm exploring, but what is my end goal? Am I trying to help this character with something, or am I just discovering the story of this character? I'm guessing it's discovering his story, and that is the game, is to discover whatever tragic thing has occurred. Um, which is a, you know, good enough for you. Oh, Jesus, what the hell was that? Did she just hit me in the back, for Christ's sake? Fucking hell says this. Isn't that nice? Um, I don't trust any of these rooms now. I'm not gonna lie. This is some bullshit. This is like. <laughs> this reminds me. Oh, that is just all fucked up there. The painting is melting right in front of me. That's lovely. Well, because why wouldn't it at this point? This is like, why would you stay in here any longer? Most sane people would have been like, you know, screw this, I'm gone. Not our hero. He's like, oh, this is totally normal. The paint's uh, falling off the walls and, you know, a little Satan house and that is backwards. 
but it's all backwards. I'm done. Uh, what the fuck is that? Other than weird. Oh, okay. It cannot be undone. It cannot be undone. It cannot be undone. It cannot be undone. So. And this looks like a place of room now. Like a. It's almost like a mirror that I just went through. Man. I will say something. One of you developers was drinking some really good wine when you made this. Because this part's creepy as shit. Hunting dogs? A lot of people don't know that greyhounds were used a lot as. Oh, that is fucked up. I'm guessing the dog did not survive the fire. And I said earlier in this I found a muzzle and a few other things, uh, a collar, that I think were evidence that they had a family dog, but that horrid painting there, uh, to me, makes me think that maybe the dog did not survive. That is somebody just really likes, you know, satanic paintings. I keep using satanic, but obviously that's, you know, this is not a religious game per se, I just, uh, evil, something evil is in this house. And maybe that's the point of it, is maybe the house made him go crazy, or her. I'm still not ruling out that the wife could have been, uh, herself a little loopy. I mean, we don't know. And they've given us a bit about him, but they haven't given us a lot about her. All I know is the visuals are really good. The use of colors is better than I would have expected, but it is an art game. But, uh, holy cow, I would be lying to you all if I did not say that I am on edge a little. Um, in the 70s, I grew up... That's creepy, right there. Can we walk on in? We cannot walk out of here, but if I shut this, there's some other creepy deepy chicken up. What? Right behind me. You saw that, right, you guys? That's... What the f... Oh, Jesus, that made me jump. That really made me jump. Alright, devs, I'll give it up to you. I don't freak out easy, so that's, uh... Kudos there. That, I was not expecting that. That was, uh... And so, come on, man. Nothing in this house safe. That is the second time the house has actively tried to kill me with something. Uh, I do wonder, can the house kill you? Are you, like... Uh, do, can you just walk through this without any danger? Um, they're at least giving me the illusion that I can be in danger, so even if I can't be in danger, I don't know it yet. I'll say, I've, I've jumped a few times. The use of sound, uh, like I said, the palette, the lighting. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something inherently just tense about the house. I think they built up the tension very nicely. Um, and I'm glad they didn't just make this a simple jump scare game, because I would have probably lost interest. Um, see? See? Crazy shit. There's something there I need. That is another key. Can I turn the light on, please? Thank you. And this room just started to get all wibbly wobbly on me. That's my scientific term, guys. Deal with it. Okay, so we've lit some stuff here. April 6th, found this little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted badly. I know it's hard for him too, but god damn it, he should know better. With a small child in the house, it's just irresponsible. So, again, trouble in paradise. Clear signs that this artist was an alcoholic. As I said, his workspace. Had a shitload of them. Man, that's creepy. The bride and groom's pictures scratched out. Just in the face, though. So, yeah, that's uh, a little messed up. 
okay. And now a paint trail leading to a portrait that is turning again, and I don't like that. What the? F There's this a thing. house is absolutely amazing. Oh, but those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. And it's a beautiful cane, but again, I can't condone the ivory in it, knowing that they kill elephants for it. Um, and whether or not you are a animal rights person, uh, it's an old perfume, uh, perfume head. Oh, it's a concealer. Okay. So clearly something has happened with his wife. Some skin accident. Um, the wife was pregnant. Did they lose the child, maybe? I did hear a baby crying in part of this. But I feel like there's like nine or ten different things here that would have led to the madness of this. Really? They're gonna really make me wind this up. Okay. Wow, that was creepy. Played evil DJ there for a moment. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. And we have I a bottle of tube blood. in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? Okay, so clearly that is the second horrible artifact of whatever he did. Did he murder his wife? Is that what I'm getting from this here? That's what I'm getting from it anyway, is that he straight up murdered uh, his wife. And somebody it looks like... Oh, I get it. I get it. So you can see here a little eye holes. This is why he has a problem with these rats, or that they... Uh, I think they chewed through his prosthetic leg, which would not have been unusual if it was made out of wood um, and hollow, because, you know, they can house themselves in there. The rats, mice, whatever. Um, I don't really know what we're doing here, guys. So far, I'm convinced, at least for what I can tell, I believe we are in his mind. And we are reliving things that the house is a metaphor for his mind. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. I'm gonna give this puppy a second crank since I found another control in the back. Dumbling all around, dumbling all around, dumbling all around. So and that was sounds like it should. Dumbling here and there, dumbling everywhere, and I must declare. I'm looking for weird changes in the house. Right well, see, the see? Look what the hell's I going on here now. Now the ceiling is going back to normal, and this is going back to normal. All around, and now the house is no longer evolving, so I have done something. The puzzles in this are a little weird. Um, again, for a game I got for free on Humble Bundle, I certainly can't complain. Um, Humble Bundle was giving this out last month, and uh, how much worse can this game painting get? I don't know yet. That's gruesome. It looks like a bunch of dead flesh pieced together to form something, but what I do not know. Uh, let's look at this now. Hate even now, lost alone. You deserve it. A grave for you. Finish it. And I'm guessing now, and I'm correct, that each one of these 
evil little things he has done is its own little capo. And, uh. Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a. a little something to focus on my work. That's, all. That's all. That's a very old flask that, uh, he has there. Um, that would be copper. The top part, leather. Hardened leather. Um. It looks like maybe just some steel. I know in some flasks they used to put lead, which actually led to alcohol poisoning. And even madness and uh, dementia in people. And they blamed it on alcohols back then. They didn't blame it on the actual obvious things. Um, anyways, I, we played this a little bit. Uh, I will definitely say this is a very interesting game. Not quite what I expected. I expected something a little more jump scary, and I'm very happy that it's not. So this was Layers of Fear. Um, if you like it, we have the description. And as usual, we always put the description to the game we're playing, because, uh, you know, you never know which one you guys may like. Uh, we have another one coming up, uh, I think, tomorrow. We'll, we'll see. Um, anyways, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you like and tell your friends, and uh, Put your thoughts in the description. And uh, I am Bones. Thank you guys a lot for watching. And we are out. So you guys have a good day.